okay guys so let's start from the new file so let's click ctrl and to, yeah click general so we'll have a basic default scene so first thing i do is uh, i find on the internet the photo sorry not this this is uh, the final render of our pump shotgun and it looks very nice okay so uh yeah basically you just go to in to the internet and uh, find the picture on the google graphics and here is the photo that i uh, downloaded from the internet so this is basically side view of the pump shot and uh, you guys should download it too so you will have uh, the reference and now if if uh, you have it downloaded just basically drag the the photo onto the blender so from your file manager just click and drag onto your scene so here is now quite rotated so i click alt r r to reset the rotation this is basically a plane so you can navigate can scale it and do everything this is like uh, the basic object so you can manipulate it move it and uh, scale it like cube and everything so i will alt g it so it will reset the position i will go to front view uh, let's rotate it by 90 degrees and let's scale it up i don't know maybe this about i don't know five times no, three times is okay. Three times is okay. And we can, for now, delete the main camera and the light. Oh, delete it. And okay, we will start from the basic cube. So let's go to edit mode. So click tab, go to edit mode. Now we, we have to change to wireframe view because we want to see through because here we have the cube and if you want to select uh, also the back uh, polygons vertices you have to go to wireframe because if you wouldn't be in the wireframe no if you hadn't uh, I don't know if, if you didn't uh, you would basically choose only the front vertices so we want to go to wire, wireframe change the select option to select box so click left click on it and click on select box so now if you drag you can select the vertices okay so i select everything i move to the left so where this part sta starts the grip so now i deselect everything with alt a i select these vertices i scale them down i move them so this vertices meet the end here and I select this one I move it to match this position maybe this will move more to the left yeah. and now I move this to around here because from this point to this point is basically a straight line so we can uh, move it up till here and here we have uh, a band so let's select both uh, of these vertices remember to, remember to select the uh, uh, back back also vertices and don't worry about this that now this is very big don't worry about that so now after you select this click e to extrude it and manipulate the vertices again so it match our our grip okay so select uh, select those uh, vertices extrude them again scale them down so they fit here and we can extrude one more time rotate it get it down and extrude it again so it hits to the metal part so like this and uh, 
Now we have to make the metal part and this will be uh, the same part as this one. So we can continue extruding and scaling. So keep doing this. Okay guys, so I think I finished the mine part. So as you can see, let's see from solid view, yeah. This is the from side, it looks very good, but from top it looks awful. So we can actually we can um, add a loop cut at the middle. So maybe I, I will move this plane uh, more back away. So select it here and then move it along the axis. Ah, let's move out from the edit mode. Select this, move back. Now select the uh, shotgun to edit you can add a loop cut at the middle in the middle here so it will split everything now select back part delete it uh, delete the vertices that are left behind and now we can add a mirror modifier so we want it to mirror on the y-axis so toggle y-axis and now we can move, uh, go to wireframe. We can move this vertices closer. So I move it on Y direction. Okay. Maybe we move this Y direction too. And uh, yeah, just make make it smaller. Now we can select everything and move it everything everything closer to each other. Let's move this one closer. So the grip is quite not that thick, but the metal part will be a bit thicker. Let's check from solid view. Something like this I think is okay. It depends on you guys how, how much uh, thickness you want to add. So Maybe let's move the last part far away. Okay, let's check. Okay, this looks nice. And yeah, we have uh, our grip finished for now. And uh, remember, the clipping so the vertices at the middle will be uh, merged. Okay, so now we have the grip finished. Let's add the basic uh, cube or the bar barrel, we call it barrel, I think. Okay, so click Shift A, add a cylinder, click here, so we can change the number of the vertices to 16, and it's okay. Okay, now rotate it on Y axis. And let's scale it down so it fits our image. So move it up. And if you can't see the image, you can go to wireframe and you'll see everything. And I will move this part or uh, inside the the grip. So on the x-axis because you can't really see this, so it doesn't matter if it's inside. Let's now go to edit mode. Let's change to face mode, select number three, select this face, go to front view and let's move it along X axis around here. Okay, this is nice. And now, uh, before we will scale it and rotate the, the cube, uh, the tube like this, we have to make the hole inside. So. Let's click slash on your uh, numpad, so this will isolate everything except of, but yeah, it will isolate the, the tube that we made. If you don't have it, just go to object mode, select this tube, click shift H to hide everything except uh, from this tube, go to edit mode again and you will be in the same position. So now let's select those. Uh, faces so 
this one and this one click i uh, like inset and we'll inset inset it around here because i want this quite thick so you have this and now we want to make a hole so there's a nice tool for it so uh click space for search tool if you don't have search tool on space just go to file no to prefer edit preferences and just try to find uh where do you have a search tool and basically if you wait a minute guys you go to key map uh, option you'll have spacebar action here and you can change uh, what spacebar does so you can click to search so it will have search panel so I click space and the tool that we are searching for is called bridge and we don't want the first one, we want the second one. And yeah, basically you can see that it merged those faces together, but also it creates the inner cube for us. So this is very nice. So let's move out from mm, edit mode. Let's bring everything back and let's move to edit mode again. Now we want to make it bigger. Uh, this side bigger so let's go to wireframe uh, go to vertices select mode select this front vertices scale it on the z axis around here and now we want to rotate it but as you can see if we rotate with r yeah it doesn't keep the the height of of the line so if we rotate it this will be shorter so there's a tool for it uh, it is called shear the shortcut was Control Shift Alt S, I remember, on, on in the Blender 2.79. But now I don't know what happened to this shortcut. But we have the icon here. It's the second from the last, and it it is called Shear. So if you select it, and now you select the axis that you want to rotate your line. So I select this up axis because yeah, we want to drag it the right and you can also use the other axis but uh, yeah, we want this top axis so I will rotate it around yeah around here and maybe let's move it back a bit so the X would match the, the uh, image more so let's move from the solid view to the solid view and yeah we have the basic view okay so uh, here we have to fix one thing because you can see that uh, this uh, yeah I, I, I screw up okay so maybe let's go back to the edit mode I don't know if we can change it oh yeah we can still change it when I was scaling this up I actually clicked so it only scales on, on the Z axis so don't click Z just click S so it will remain the perfect uh, circle yeah so my fault sorry uh, so let's scale it again I will speed up this process uh, rotate it move it back okay so now I, nice we have basic for our shotgun and now we want the, the other cube that is on the bottom. So let's add uh, again a tube, a uh, blender. Again, it's all already 16, so let's uh, rotate it on the Y axis. Get it down, something like this. Move it inside our grip. Go to edit mode, go to select mode, select tool, select face, and let's move it to around here. And I think this is also bigger on the, the end, 
platform we can scale it a bit let's move it down a bit let's uh, first as you can see there's a rotate rotate it a bit but first we want to uh, make this part a small I don't know what is this but uh, the small part so let's inset it and basically we have to inset till the radius hits the small uh, small cylinder so this is mm, try and fail because we, we I can't really see how much I have to indent it uh, inset it so, but we have to try so I think around here let's extrude it yeah I think it's okay no one cares so let's uh, now we can actually rotate it so let's rotate it this first so I already have face selected go to shear rotate this like around here and let's select this faces by double clicking left on on the edge here and let's rotate it too ah, it's too much this is okay let's scale it up a bit and we can select this face let's go to select tool and scale it up move it down okay this is perfectly fine yeah it's not perfect but no one cares like this okay. and we have two basics uh, tube okay so uh, I think this video is too long and uh, I think I will finish on uh, on this part this, and we will continue on, in the second episode so uh, click ctrl s to save it I already have a uh, shotgun because far so let's call it pump shotgun tutorial save it save blender file okay so uh, okay see you guys in the, the, the part bye